asking for me to do a vlog for a long time on a makeup tutorial and I've just been really busy and I haven't had time to do that but I have to film tonight I have to do good makeup and so I thought I would just like really quickly show you what I do I don't do this every day this is just specifically for like if I have to do filming or concerts or it's like so much more makeup than I usually wear but this is we'll just call this filming slash performance makeup tutorial and I prepped with using Becca Cosmetics eye under eye primer I know this is a mess but I'm also using pores no more um, on my nose and on my forehead my foundation that I'm using I love this foundation it's by Lancome and I'm going to use it in combination with where is it uh, L'Oreal Infallible just so I'm using a, a beauty blender sponge like this and I let's see if I can do this okay so I have the foundation all over I also put it on my lips because it helps lipstick stay and then I do a layer of powder just to set it and I am using Laura Mercier translucent I'm gonna be doing a little bit of contouring and ah, open this it's got a magnet I'm going to be using the Smashbox palette and this is the contouring that I'm going to be using I'm just gonna use my beauty blender again and dab it in here and basically but for filming it really helps to do here and also along the jawline and then you just want to blend it really, really good. The face palette that I'm going to use is called Dream and it's by Deck of Scarlet. And hi there! I'm going to be using this for blush and this is eyeshadow, highlighter, lips. And I'm just going to lightly dab because a little goes a long way. Actually, I'm going to shake some of that off. Basically right now my skin is all prepped and now I'm going to add color and everything else. For my eyebrows I used Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is the blonde color. I'm also going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow um, brush. Okay, this is going to be so hard to do in my camera but I'm going to try. So my brows have been filled out and I'm doing them slightly uh, bigger tonight because I'm filming and I'm going to have a lot of bright lights on me which kind of washes a lot of things out. So that's why I'm doing that. Now I'm basically oh, focused. I'm using a brush. It's not focusing. And I'm going to use this color here as a base. I'm going to base on. I'm going to use this color in this part of my eye right there and a little bit goes a long way with this too so this is not blended but I'm gonna take my favorite blending brush which is from a different Smashbox palette and I blend 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 until it looks great <laughs> you don't want any like weird harsh lines this color with my finger and apply it to my eyelids and it's going to add just a little bit of a shimmer. Alright, just with the shimmer. For highlighting my eye, I'm just going to use this palette by Clinique and I'm going to do a mixture of this shimmery white color with this lighter color. So I put this right here. Oops. <laughs> I got it on my eyebrow. And the next thing I'm going to do is add eyeliner and I just do a liquid eyeliner in black by Stila. I can actually do this in the phone. I'm amazing. No, I can't do it. So if you can do it in the mirror. This is really hard. Alright, eyeliner is done. Going back to my Clinique palette, I'm going to use this color to put 
underneath my eyes on the bottom lid. Alright, and then because I have <laughs> um, eyelash extensions, I don't use mascara, but I use a brush that has sealant on it, and it basically just kind of brushes it out. Because I, you don't get eyelash extensions on your bottom lashes, I am going to put mascara on the bottom and I'm using Too Faced Better Than Sex. Great title, but <laughs> it's really like the best mascara ever. Alright, so this is basically the finished um, coloring look, but now I'm going to add a little bit of highlighter here and then do lips. And also I have a birthmark here that I'm going to cover up. I'm just using a simple brush like this and I'm just going to dab it into the highlighter. And I don't want to do too much but basically this area, this, a little bit here and here. For lips, I'm going to start with this color again from the Dream Palette by Deck of Scarlet and then end with this one and I'm just using a brush like this. Let's see if I can do this. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. I don't think I can do this in the, I'm gonna have to do this in the mirror. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start over on this because I realized that I totally didn't brush my teeth first. Okay, let's try this again. So here is the first layer of the lighter color and now I'm going over with So here's the lips. And also a really cool trip trick. If you don't want to get lipstick on your teeth, you know, you're smiling later and you're like, ah, take your finger, do that. See how there's lipstick? That is a trick to do to get it off the inside so it doesn't get on your teeth. I'm just using more of this foundation to cover up my birthmark. And I just have a little bit here. The last thing that I'll do is add some lip gloss. And again, this is from the deck of Scarlet palette that you see here. Alright, so this is the finished makeup look. And then I'm going to show you how I do my hair. Alright, so this is my hair all combed through and freshly washed. And you can see this is my length right here. I'm just about the length. Um, I have been trying to grow my hair out for a long time without getting much success. I have seemed to get to here and then it doesn't want to grow any longer. So I have been using some hair extensions lately which I love because they're super easy. They're made by Hidden Crown and they're actually a perfect match to my own hair color. I only wear these if I'm doing a concert or a photo shoot or something. I don't usually wear the extra hair every single day like I actually never do so but this is what it is it's real hair and it just basically you set it in I'll show you how I do it it's gonna be hard to do with one hand but I basically parted my hair and pulled up this part and the extensions are gonna go underneath and this is my own hair that's gonna sit on top so there's a really thin wire and I just basically placed the hair I'm going to let this down and I have to do a little bit of combing to blend it because you can see but basically I just take the comb and start blending it out so here we go yes I actually naturally have a ton of hair but I've just been wanting to get it longer without having the patience to wait for it to grow out so the extensions give me more length. I'm going to be using a curling rod which you have to be really careful with these that you don't burn your fingers on the end if you're used to holding a tip on a curling iron and this one is by Numi. It's a three-in-one. So, and I have no idea how to do this while holding my phone. Maybe I can figure out how to like put my phone somewhere so you can see. Oh my gosh, this is so hard to do. Um, okay, so first I use this product, it's called Chi, and it's a heat protectant spray. And then I'm gonna do one 
piece and then I'll show you. So I basically do this. How was scout camp, buddy? Okay, anyway, so these are pretty tight curls right now, but I'm basically gonna be shaking them out and then um, combing through them a little bit and styling it a little more. Alright, so we have everything curled. I just finished refilming all of my promos for the new album. 